Man, so today, today we are going to keep it moving. I've been working on the 2006 Acura TL, my new daily, and I picked up something that is definitely a must for this generation TL. I picked up an aero kit. We have everything ready to rock. This is factory A-spec aero. This is a, this is a really cool kit. It does a lot for the car. So we're going to focus on getting a lot of the car painted today. And then we'll just have to see where else this thing goes. And now, you're watching the move that is to spend your entire tax return before receiving it. Channel of YouTube, welcome to Bodhi Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome and thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. So with this A-Spec kit, what this all includes is the front lip, we got the side skirts, then we got the rear lip. We also have a little trunk, little wing thing right here, a little lip spoiler for the trunk. Looks really nice adds a lot to the car. I do like it when cars I do like it when cars are wingless. I think wingless usually is the way to go, but with this being all one kit, I want it to look, you know, all cohesive and look really nicely. So, when it comes to my setup, I don't really have as much room as I would like, but I'm happy with the setup that I have. I'm just saying I don't have as much room to paint as many pieces as I have to paint. So, I have all these prepped I was able to prime them and prep them and do all that in the same process because I didn't care about the orientation that they were laid out. But as I'm painting them for their final time, like the bumpers, I like to paint them how they sit because that's how you're going to see them on the car. I really want to make sure I get these little sides really nicely. When I'm priming them, I don't care how they look as long as I can get them all painted. So. I'm going to have to knock out two sessions in order to get all these pieces painted and then we'll eventually get the car in here, do the whole thing. Let's just go ahead and start and get that sealer laid out. So at this point, we have the black base down. Everything's looking pretty cool. Cool, good, cool, good and cool. Now we are going with the pearl. Now if you watched the last video, you saw that there was a debate about what exact type of pearl I wanted to put on as a mid coat. I'm doing a tri coat process. I'm doing black base coat, a pearl color, and then clear coat, and then and then clear coat, making that three layers of the tri-coat process. So the color that we are going with is lilac. That's what the most people voted for. That's what Ava voted for. That's what I liked. And I also had them keep the blue flake in the mixture. So it's going to be lilac with a little bit of blue flake. Looking really good. Let's get that mixed up. Ready to go. Lay that down. Now one thing that I got to be conscientious of is as I'm spraying it on all of these parts, I need to make sure I keep track of my process so that way I can replicate it to the best of my ability on the entire car because we want it to be as consistent as possible. Wild.
right, so really quickly, we gotta let that paint dry. So as that's happening, before I can touch it and I wanna handle it, I wanted to come knock out something else. Something else that I had to get was side view mirrors for the passenger side, but I wanna take out the glass. The glass was already broken on the passenger side, and I found that when I was pulling it out, it broke quite a bit more. So that got me a little bit scared and or hesitant. So what I found right here, we got this car. 2006 Acura TL, the exact car that I got. So I got my passenger side that I need right here. And then I also got a spare driver's side because I want to pull the mirrors apart, but I don't want to break the mirror on the side that's good. So I just wanted to get me a spare in case I break it. These are probably going to be relatively cheap and it's always better to paint the mirrors like the whole body with the actual mirror out of there as opposed to trying to tape it off. It's just a better process. So at the junkyard 2006 Acura TL. As I am here, I'm gonna look around and see if there's anything else that I need. I don't really think that it is. I don't really think that there is, but as I'm here, I'd like to take a look around. We'll see, let's see what we can find. So at this point, I went to go look at a couple of the other TLs in the yard. Now, I noticed one thing on this TL that's different from my TL that I have. So the front of my TL around the grill is like a dingy silver color, and it's also on the bumper. This one that I'm looking at right here has those same exact pieces, but they're in chrome. So I want to go ahead and pull those off. Those will look a lot better on my car. I believe those are from the newer TL where there's like a mid-generation split as an 0406 is what I got. 0708 had the chrome. And uh, we are on our way to pay check out and get the rest of the day rolling all right so right now right now i'm in the old farm truck the shop truck But anyway, so right now I'm in the old shop truck, the 1968 Ford F350, and I got a truck bed full of tile. So in my house, some of the tiles started just, they're like called T-ping, they started failing. And um, long story short, I had to rip it all up. Uh, hold on, let's hit this corner real quick. shift right there it's killing my productivity in the shop a little bit but it's something that i just gotta handle i know you guys as homeowners uh can relate so let's get to the scrap yard it's actually a recycling plant i'm gonna throw off all these tiles and then uh, eventually we'll get back to the shop so kind of just dragging you along with me today while i'm running some errands So crazy being out here this this is what the shop truck was meant to do this is the shop truck element we got concrete smashing over here all my tiles out of here so let's uh let's get out of here i gotta give me some water man and then we'll get back to the shop finally a lot of work that was uh that was like 500 square feet of tile not too much but still a lot of stuff to move all right, so quick transition from the dump over here to the house. I just wanted to show you kind of what's going on, what it looks like, the chaos that is inside the house right now. So like I mentioned at the dump, the tile was just 
The tile had failed. What I looked up and what I read is because of the rapid changes in temperature, like sometimes the inside of the house would be like 68, 69 degrees when it's nice and cold outside. And then when it's hot outside, if nobody's in the house, we don't keep the air on, it'll get up to 77, 78 in the house. So the quick changes causes the tiles to kind of expand and that caused them to buckle right in this area. So I was skateboarding in the house the other day before we tore all the tile down and underneath it, this house was built in the 60s, so it's a terrazzo floor under it. So right now we're kind of just in this little transition period. This past weekend we ripped out all the old floor. The next weekend we'll start to get into putting in the new floor. We're going to go with a LVP luxury vinyl planks in here. I think that will look nice. So I just want to give you a little bit more background information since I showed you me getting rid of all of those tiles. I wanted to show you the disarray that is the house right now. Not too bad. What you think, Lola? Pretty good to go. Baseboards right there. I'm going to get all those prepped, repainted, and then we'll get those reinstalled after we get the new flooring in here. So in this video, you saw the color. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think about it. I got to do a little bit of work on the computer, then I'm going to get back to the shop to get um, get my stuff going. So all the stuff that you'll see in the next video, all the stuff that I didn't paint in this video, possibly including the car will be coming up next video, maybe the following video. Either way, man, I hope to see you on that next one. Like this video, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think about the color, and I will see you on that next one. So I guess that's it. I'm out.